Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and today we're taking a look at iOS 17 Notes, which just like the past few years has added a couple distinct but really nice little changes to make Notes just a more well-rounded app on the iPhone. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so this year Apple's added features specifically to PDFs or how PDFs are implemented into Notes, as well as a big new feature, which is note linking. So if you've used a, a note application like Obsidian or maybe Notion, you know this idea of linking notes together. So for instance, um, on Notion, I had one for Boston. And as I was exploring Boston and living there, uh, I was just kind of documenting my experience and so I could link notes. So in my general Boston exploration note, I had a back bay note and I could click on that and it would take me to the back bay specific section, which was great. But now you can basically do that same thing in Apple Notes, which is a really handy change. So you can do it for obvious things like that, for integrating and linking notes that are related but uh, incomplete by themselves or maybe reference something else like a Wikipedia page. When you're reading, uh, you find a name that you find interesting, you click on that, read a little bit more and go back. So Apple's added this now with their notes. Let's go ahead and look at it. So for instance, I have this note called move in. And you can see I already have it linked to one other note, codes and passcodes. So I click on that, it'll take me to that note, which is a really nice way of keeping everything on one document. But I'll show you how you can add another link. So I'll highlight the goals for 2023. I'll go over and do add link. Now this is a little bit confusing because add link is the same text as when you would just want to add a URL, but Apple's using this as well for note. So you can do a URL or a note title here. So I'm gonna start searching for this note, which is 2023 goals. Okay, so there's the name of it. And then I can use the note name as title or use the existing text as the title for that, how it appears. I'll click done. And now, if I click on that, it'll take me to that note. Obviously, this is not a totally real uh, note. So you can use this in several ways. So I showed you in Obsidian how I used it for Boston. And I went ahead and copied that right into my Apple Notes. So if you see, if I go down here to Boston Exploration, I did the same thing. And I can click on Back Bay, and it will take me no, I forgot, for some reason it takes me to this app. So I need to go in here, highlight it, and I need to edit that link. For some reason it, yeah, I guess where Obsidian wants to take me is different than where the iPhone wants to take me. So I'll put in Back Bay. And there we go. And now when I click Back Bay, it'll take me to Back Bay, which is great. Now what I don't like is that there's no way of going back to the previous note. So you saw in Obsidian how I had the ability to click the back button and this will take me to my previous note. You can't do this. It would have been really nice if they have that back button up top like they do when you switch applications because of notification or just some way of going back to another note, but you don't have that, but you know, not too bad. Now, another limiting feature about this is that you can't link to a note that you haven't created yet. So for instance, um, if you're working on a series or a guide or, or whatever, and you know you will have a note in the future, but you haven't created that, uh, you're gonna have to create that note and maybe just leave it blank if you want to link it. There's no way of linking if you don't have that note created already. You can't just uh, create a new link or a new note to link to if there's nothing there from that screen. And this kind of works as an alternative to creating folders or to pinning notes. Because instead of having a bunch of notes pinned, uh, for instance, I can just have one note pinned and then have a bunch of linked notes inside of there. So still keep everything um, organized and up top, but without cluttering your pinned notes. So it's a really easy way of doing that. Now the second change is to how PDFs live inside of your note. Now previously, this is how a PDF would look in your document and you could do a quick look and that's how you could go in and edit it. But now if you have a PDF, you can actually change the size. So you can view as small or medium or large and you can zoom in and out. So you could have a view without having to leave this screen. You can just view it right from there. And you can also annotate right from here. And so I pulled up another PDF here and what's nice is that you don't have to go into the quick look in order to modify this. You can do it right from this tool right here, and you can start marking it up or circling things or highlighting 
or whatever you need right from there. And it will actually save without having to leave your previous screen. And then if you want to share this, you can click the share button right there or the copy or the rename or whatever you need. And then you can also rearrange by holding this button up here and moving it wherever you want. A little sloppy, but you get the point. So this is notes for iOS 17. I think the note linking will be a really great way for people to manage um, and organize their notes. You don't need to pin as many things and you don't need to create as many folders. You can just link things to each other to stay organized. I hope Apple does implement an arrow button system and it would be nice if you can have your PDF implemented vertically instead of just horizontally where you're sliding sideways. But it's still a pretty awesome change to both PDFs, being able to edit them and view them within your screen uh, and to note linking. So I think this can be a really nice change for a lot of people. It probably won't replace Obsidian if you're using that or Notion, but I think it's a really good start. So let me know what you think about these changes and I'll see you in the next video.